Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hi everybody. Today, thanks to Brian, we're going to be doing another British taste test. We have two packets today. These actually came together in a rubber band. I think, I don't oh, know. That would have been Australia Post doing oh, that. Well, now sure. they're together. Something strange with this one. This one is sealed in a plastic bag. Was found either in loose in the mail or damaged whilst being processed. So we got a free plastic bag from Australia Post. Yay! What? That's exciting, well, I guess. You don't get much for free <laughs> these days. I have a note. Hello, Tam and Tim. Here's some more stuff from the UK to try. Mine has chocolate in it. Mine has heaps of <gasps> There's things that I love, which is chocolate. Yeah. I love chocolate. And then there's things that you love. Brian's really put a lot of thought into this. Four different flavours of these ones. They're from the same company. ASDA Extra Special. Now, ASDA is supermarket, I think. Is it? Let's try this one first. It's salted butterscotch milk chocolate. And I do love a milk chocolate. 39% cacao. And it comes in cardboard, which makes it look really special. It does. I wouldn't have thought it was a supermarket brand. It could be wrong. Oh, oh, look at that. That is looking really, really promising. It's got a little embossed picture on the front of it too. Oh. Smell good. I nearly snapped that with my mouth. <laughs> Okay, you can't see much inside there, but uh, do you want half a piece of this chocolate or a full piece? Well, I'm grateful I get half, actually. I'll give you the big half, because I'm nice. Oh. You can see the little bits of butterscotch in there when you bite it. They're like little tiny shards of butterscotch. That's really nice. The chocolate's pretty good. Mm. Chocolate is really nice and smooth. Mm. The salt goes really well with it. That's my salt level. Oh, yeah. Bit. I just got the salt. Very nice. Okay, that can be in your pile. <laughs> Brown trees fruit pastels. We've tried these. Have we? Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian likes to play this memory game thing with us. You'll always win with me, Brian, because I'll but just eat time. them. Did he? Did I? Did we? <laughs> and that's what they look like inside. We have had these before, so um Yes, I can tell. Oh, here you go. I just want to have one. Yeah, of course. Have a green one. Yeah, the green ones are nice. Thank you so much for sending these, Brian. We really love these round tree, I didn't say round, round tree fruit pastels. They are really delicious, really fruity, mm. really sweet. Nice amount of chewiness to them. I would Very have to nice. say they're the best ones we've ever had. Nice flavours. Okay, that's my pile. Coconut and rum Ooh. dark chocolate. Yum. You, oh, see, so now you're interested in the chocolate. Yeah. It's got rum in it. Tasting notes. Oh, it's got tasting notes we don't even have to do this really we just read this created using a blend of the finest cocoa bean this bittersweet dark chocolate is enhanced with coconut and rum for a tropical finish oh that's, that's a bit nice like a holiday remember those yeah. i remember our last holiday we paid for it and never got to go on it <laughs> <laughs> oh well, a Japanese holiday. Uh, yeah, they kept a thousand dollars of it, did just they? Just over a thousand. Yeah, just over a thousand dollars, just for nothing, and we haven't even left the house. It's good that we've chosen this time to, in our life to start travelling, isn't it? And I've already popped the cardboard. Ow. Ooh, nice dark chocolate. Here you go, does it have the cocoa beans on it? Cocoa pods? Pods, seeds. <gasps> oh, oh! Oh no! <laughs> I'll break it in half. You can have the big half. Mm. It's more like an artificial rum essence, isn't it? Hard to say whether I like it or don't. Is it hard to say though? Would I go out and buy another packet? Not that I bought this packet. If I did, I don't think I would. You wouldn't buy this again? No. Because you're the rum freak. It just tastes artificially to me. I'm not a huge fan of the rum and raisin chocolate, but this one is different because our rum and raisin, well, it hasn't got rum and raisin one, but. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna say it's got coconut in it which i'm not a fan of that oh, either in it take out the coconut mm -hmm. throw that in the bin maybe if you took out the coconut just had the rum in there but i've got an aftertaste from it which i'm not liking too much so you won't eat the rest no you're gonna have that on your really part. i don't mind the bitterness level of the chocolate i think that's quite nice it's not overly sweet which is good there's that about it the chocolate itself i think is good i think it's just that flavor running through it hasn't quite worked have we had these before you don't know so this is the thing brian what have you done maynard's bassett wine gums are next i'm not too sure we've had these before so i don't know i have a feeling we have why has it got footballers on it? You can win something, huh? You, you can, can win. You can enjoy a day of a footballer. Win a captain. Oh, As if you'd want to do that. You wouldn't want that prize? No, if it was you a girl, what? I would. Ooh, what? Smell nice. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> There's claret. 
No. And this one says port. I'm going to have an orange one. I'm going to have a green one. Mm. Oh. A bit chewy. A bit what? boing boing in the mouth. But that's why it's a wine gum. But you don't like these ones that are painful to eat. Mm. It doesn't hurt me. I don't have a bunged up jaw like some people. I'm imperfect. Mm. The flavour though. Very, very nice. Really good. Very mm. nice. I like these. My pile. Thank you. Ow. Oh, baby. Love the pretty flavours in them. Yeah, I do. I and just, the texture of them. I like them. If you're into wine gums. They're yeah. going in the lolly jar. Up for another dark chocolate. This one is raspberry dark chocolate. Tasting notes. This tempting fruity dark chocolate is complemented by scattering a freeze-dried raspberry. Oh, that sounds pieces. nice. Ooh. Really starting to like the freeze-dried bits of fruit. fruit, fruit. <laughs> That beautiful glossy chocolate there. I'm look at the back of it. Oh yeah. All the bumps. There's little bumps of raspberry in there. You can see a little bit of a raspberry in there. Oh. <laughs> Try again. <sighs> Love it. <laughs> They're really little tiny pieces in there oh, though. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. No, this is nice. This is good. The bitterness of the raspberry and the chocolate. There's a little bit of bitterness on the raspberry, isn't there? Was it sweetness? I don't know. I can't tell. It's a chocolate that's bitter. Do you want to refer to the tasting notes? Like that one. Favourite so far. See what I mean about that dark chocolate? You can really taste it. That's nice. Now you're having this raspberry one. And then you've got those little pops of raspberry, freeze-dried raspberry through it. And they're a little bit bitter as well. Mm. I mean, they're sweet, but they're also a little bit bitter. So the combination of them, if you like dark chocolate and you like things that are a little bit bitter, then you're probably going to love this. It's really nice. Fruit gum. And that's by round trees. Have we had these before? No. Yes. <laughs> do you remember these? I do now. I like them. These are actually really cute. We have had these before. They're really quite pretty to look at. Mm -hmm. They're little tiny baby fruits as you can see. So they're really quite beautiful to look at and the flavour of them is pretty good too. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you like more? Wine gum? I think I like the pastels best. I've had one and basically it just went bing bong, and attached itself to my back tooth straight away. Oh, I thought it was going off for a nasal swab and went bing bong. <laughs> no, is it, are you here when you get a nasal swab? Oh, you'd be here worse than that from me. <laughs> <laughs> For me, out of all of these ones, I really like the fruit pastels. This is a strong one. This is a really dark chocolate. Madagascan dark chocolate. It's 73% cacao. Tasting notes. Possessing a beautiful balance of sweetness and bitterness with fresh fruit notes. Same, same. Cardboard. Foil. Oh. Let me look at that compared to that. Can you tell the difference? You Darker. can actually tell the difference in colouring there. Whoa. Oh, that's really quite bitter. Mm. Bitter and dry. It's a true dark chocolate, this one. Mm. Oh, I quite like it. I think I should go down and get a port. What do you reckon? I love it how you're always trying to match what we've got in the video to some kind of alcohol. Mm. We need a wine. We need a port. A we beer. need a beer. Single origin, 73% cacao dark chocolate. It's really bitter. Actually really nice. Mm. I like that. You're good with a port. Should we go down and get a port? This one I almost want to go into my pile. Okay, you Is can have it. Is that wrong? Cadbury Bourneville orange dark chocolate. My favourite. How do you know it's your favourite? Because I love dark it. chocolate and orange. You can't go wrong. Oop, oh, oops, oops, it's broken. It's broken. Oh, it's not too bad. It's just broken into its little segments. Oh, okay. There you go. You can smell the orange. Mm, I like this. It's just straight chocolate. There's no orange pieces or anything. It's orange flavouring through it, infused mm. through it. And this dark chocolate is a little bit sweeter, so I quite like this. I've never seen this here. We have Cadbury's here. But we don't have Bourneville. Mm. I quite like the orange flavour through it. I was worried it was going to taste like weird and fake, but I don't mind this. Yep, very nice. Next we're going to try. I don't want to get a menthol in my palate. Well, we've got two things left to try. And I recommend we try this one first. Okay, next we're going to try on tomorrow's advice. Jake Men's Honey and Lemon Menthol. Mm -hmm. Menthols. They're just little individually wrapped lollies. It smells like something you have if you've got a sore throat. Okay, so it's very glassy looking. I love doing that when you have menthol and you're breathing through your nose and it just 
get that tingle, bit of a burn. <laughs> so you bring on the nasal swab now. <laughs> <laughs> you see on the news every night, I'm terrified by them. <laughs> Poor people put their head back next to me and go, <laughs> and then they're going like this, I'd be screaming. Straight into the brain. So my plan is not to get COVID, so I never have to have it done. We're staying safe just for that reason. Very nice. Very menthol-y. I quite like these, yeah. I suppose it's something you could suck on while you're driving in the car on a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, you could. What's a road trip? What's a holiday? I really like the subtle honey and lemon flavour mm. through these. They're really quite nice. They could actually help you medically in some way if you had a cold or a... Nasal breath. I don't want to do that. Do it's it, weird do and it. creepy. It's weird and creepy. Feel it. Can you feel it? I like that. It'll help you if you've got a cough or something, but they actually do taste quite good. Oh. I'm not having any more. <laughs> That's for later. Why are you pulling out of your mouth? I'll ask you the same question. <laughs> Stop <right>. it! <laughs> Stop it! This is another Jakeman's product, and this one says throat and chest. Uh, it's a menthol sweet. I thought it was going to be like one of those licorice lolly things. Is that so I thought it was black. Once tasted, they will be your favourite soothing sweet. Okay, let's do it. These are established in these were established in 1907. The original famous throat and chest. Can we make a good oh, tea? Have a looky look. Yes, there they all are. Little individually wrapped ones, as you can see. Arr, arr. Catch it, catch it. <laughs> what colour is this one? Oh. It looks very dark and mysterious, doesn't it? It's kind of like a, a greenish hue. I, can't, I don't know if you can see that in the light. I don't know, it's like a purple hue to me. If you look through it. Yeah. You can't look through it. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> hmm. You like it? Well, it is what it is, isn't it? It's throat and chest. I'm a man now. <laughs> Am I also a man? <laughs> They're a little bit stronger than those other ones. <gasps> I, I actually really like them. Do I don't really know what they said. And what alcohol would you match with that? It wouldn't. It couldn't even have water with it. And it's suitable for vegetarians. And made with only the finest ingredients. That's okay. The menthol is really, really strong in these. See, now I can feel it. It does actually help you breathe better. So if you were having breathing difficulties... Throat and chest. Throat and chest. Thanks everybody for watching. It's been great doing this taste test with Tam. I am starting to settle down a little bit during these taste test requests by her. He thinks I'm mean. Come editing time. <laughs> I hear the sounds coming out of the room and it's, she's not happy. <laughs> it's only when you don't look at the camera. Because I'm looking at, looking at the things. You thought yeah, I was supposed to do. Look at the camera, look at the things. Look at the things and then look at the camera. And how many years you've been doing this for? And how many years have you been doing it for? About two months. It's been longer than two months. Tam will work it out. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like forever. <laughs> if everybody could leave a comment below and thank Brian, because without Brian, this taste test would not have been possible. Put Thanks, Uncle Brian, okay? Have a great week. See you next time. Bye. Bye.